Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris Stallings, you know me here on YouTube as Marauder X, and as always I'm your host for Operation Recap, where I take a couple of the stories that we published at Operainfall.com and throw them back at your face, and see if they get a little bit more love and attention, respect, whatever, you know, the usual, you guys know what's going on at this point. If you're new to the show, welcome. Uh, so this week I've got a lot of stories, uh, and it's actually kind of anime-centric, I don't normally cover... The anime news, we do cover a lot of anime news on the site, but I, I typically don't do that. But we've got so much that I figured it was just kind of an injustice to not talk about it this week. So, let's kick things off with some anime news. First off, Discotech. I love their name. It just, it really makes me want to dance. Uh, Discotech Media announces that Fatal Fury Motion Picture, uh, they've acquired it. They can, they can re-release it, and they're going to be re-releasing it with... Uh, uh, 16 by 9 uh, anthropomorphic widescreen view, which is amazing considering it was not originally in 16. It was it's a it's old like uh, it's it's yeah, it's it's like something I grew up on really. I I I actually have an original VHS copy of Fatal Fury the Motion Picture that tells you probably way too much about me. But um, I'm glad they've got the the rights to it because I would like to see it again. Again, I've got an old copy of it. VHS was not a long-term, you know, format. Not going to be around forever. I would love to see it again, so I'm really excited about that. It is not quite the Fatal Fury uh, King of Fighters characters that you've come to know and love. It's very early incarnations of them, but it was an alright anime. I, I, was, I was pleased with it. Uh, next up... Uh, Akira celebrates 25th anniversary with an HD release. Again, things that make me feel old. And I'm probably not the only one out there. And I'm, I'm, Yeah. Uh, but Akira is getting a uh, re-release. It's 25th anniversary. They're going all out with it, as they should. It is kind of iconic in not just anime media, but any sort of animated or even sci-fi type feature. It, it ranks up there. It's it's kind of a big deal. It influenced oh, several generations, really, of, of of gamers, of anime fans, of science fiction fans, of nerds in general. So, really excited about that, and I'm trying to not let it make me feel ancient. That uh, I remember this from... I feel like I've been doing a lot of gaming hipster uh, back in the day, but... Um, Really excited about it, so uh, check that out. We've got the uh, the article the link below. Another one. Um, there's a new Sailor Moon anime getting ready to come out, being worked on. I what? I don't I don't know. Um, right now there's the 20th anniversary of Sailor Moon. Again, something's going to make you feel kind of old. Um, and they've, they've announced that they're, they're doing a new series. I never really got into Sailor Moon, um, growing up, the, it was, I, I remember when it came on the air the first time in, in my area, it and Ronin Warriors, so it was kind of opposites, and at the time, it's like you had one market toward girls and one market toward boys, so I watched more Ronin Warriors than Sailor Moon, I mean, theme song was catchy, but uh, they are working on a new uh, new series, and that's actually kind of kind of awesome, considering it's been a while since there's anything, I mean, they, they do Sailor Moon related stuff every so often, just, you know, because it's still very popular, but I don't think anything quite like this. So, uh, yeah, check that out, there's a lot of information on the article, so much so that I, I got lost in my own train of thought just now. So, check that out uh, if you're a Sailor Moon fan. Even if you're not a Sailor Moon fan, check it out just for the, the fact that it's been around for 20 years. Check it out. Um, now let's move to the gaming news. Uh, again, a lot of stories. First up, Square Enix has announced their lineup for Gamescon. Uh, Gamescom, in case people, it's, it's, it's C-O-M. Um, I did not actually know about Gamescom. 
Uh, it was not something I was familiar with before I started working here at Rainfall. Uh, no idea what it was. It is UK-based uh, game trade show, kind of like how E3 is America's big thing. Uh, Gamescom. I'm not sure if Gamescom is even their biggest, but it's the one getting ready to happen. And if it's big enough to attract the names of like Square Enix, then it, it's obviously a big deal. Uh, so I'm I'm really glad that I've learned about this. Like before, I worked at Rainbow, I only knew about things like uh, uh, E3 and the Tokyo Game Show. And there's so much more now, and things are starting to pop up more. Like PAX is quickly becoming more and more of a, a gaming uh, center. Uh, Comic Con also has uh, a huge gaming presence now, and now it's becoming international. Gamescom, uh, it's going to be uh, August 21 through 25th in um, Cologne, Germany. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, they've got a uh, list of things that'll be available: Deus Ex: The Fall, Final Fantasy X, X2 HD, uh, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD, Final Fantasy 14, Realm Reborn, Lightning Returns, Thief. So a lot of big titles, and most of them are going to even have playable kiosks. So, I mean, if you're going to be in Germany or can get to Germany easily, go check it out. I mean, sounds awesome. Uh, so, uh, the fact that there's that much stuff that uh, Square Enix is showing off, I'm, I'm impressed. I really am. Again, I knew nothing about this this. Uh, this trade event, and now I do, and I feel that I'm a better person for it. Uh, next up, Professor Layton and Phoenix Wright. Uh, if you watched the Nintendo Direct that was this week, uh, we saw the trailer, Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright, and people thought it was a pipe dream that it wouldn't come out here in the U.S., and it got announced. It's coming out. So we've got the article talking about that. We've got the trailer on our, our YouTube channel here. Uh, really excited about that. I never really got into the uh, the Phoenix Wright games personally. I did, you know, enjoy them, and I love the Phoenix Wrong stuff that's on YouTube here. But uh, the Professor Lighten games actually did kind of intrigue me, and I do know enough about Phoenix Wright to know that this is a huge deal, and it's it's a very entertaining concept for a game. So I'm I'm all aboard on this. I didn't think it was actually going to come out. Um, it didn't seem like there was enough love for one or the other, which is crazy, considering I know people love these games. It's they're, they're popular games. And when you put two characters like this together, I can't imagine why it would not be, you know, high up on your priority list to bring it over. But they did, so I have nothing bad to say about that. Uh, I'm really excited about the game. Definitely something I'm going to be per uh, purchasing day one. And uh, probably after that, I'll probably have to get into the, the Phoenix Wright games just so I have even more of that, that background. So, uh, check out all the information on that, the article, the trailer, everything. We've got it. Go go read up on it. If you're either a Professor Layton fan or a Phoenix Wright fan, or both, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, another story. Uh, EX Troopers can still come to the West if Capcom sees enough input. Now, this is one of those stories that resonates really strongly with the uh, the Rainfall staff. Uh, and in the article, they're not talking about, we don't need an online petition, we don't need... Just talk about it. Just go. Email them, send them, you know, messages on Facebook, on their... It's like, what they're looking for is fan interest. And if there's enough of it, then they'll consider it. And a lot of times people don't realize that your voice can be heard. And that's that's kind of the big big feeling here at Rainfall is, you know, now that we don't campaign, we're not sitting here actively telling people, hey, email on this day, letter write on this day, call them on this day. But we still want to bring your attention to it. And just because we're bringing your attention to it doesn't mean that you have to sit there and say, oh, well, they if they talked about it, that's all that's going to happen. No, you are still the driving force for these companies make your voice heard. Still, talk to them. Like, if you if you like their pages on Facebook, or if you're subscribed to their YouTube channel, comment on one of their posts, comment on their videos, saying, hey, this is a really awesome game. If it's a game that you personally want to be behind, and it's one that you want to play, tell them. Just tell them. That's the kind of input they're looking for, and that's the kind of response they're, they're going to gauge 
to see if it's worth trying to localize a game. So do that. Just check out the article for the, the, the full interview um, from, from the, the nice uh, nice people over at Capcom uh, to get you know the, the full story of what they are what they're saying but that, that's the gist of it. They just want to know what you guys think. Uh, and you know social media is a thing now and it's a incredibly powerful tool. And so all you have to do is, if it's a game you like, let them know. You don't even have to say, bring it over. Just say, hey, I love this game. They'll obviously see where you're from, and if there's enough people in a specific area, they might say, hey, let's try it. Do that. Couldn't hurt. Uh, so yeah, that is all of our stories here at Rainfall this week. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed having all these things thrown at you really quickly. Uh, check out all the stories uh, in the video description, and stay tuned to Rainfall for more news, reviews, previews, and what have you. Uh, so I'm going to go and enjoy my weekend. I suggest you all do the same. Till then, later everyone.